with the top flap of the buckle. Please keep your seat foot fastened slowly tight across your lap, even when the seat belt sign is off, and have your seat belt visible to the crew at all times. Your life vest is in a pouch under your seat. It is instructed by the crew, tear open the pouch, remove the vest, and pull it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist, secure the buckle, and pull the strap to tighten. As you exit the aircraft, inflate the vest by pulling down firmly on the red tab or blowing into the tube on both sides. A low-kitting light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in water. Never inflate the vest inside the aircraft. This Ambu 190 has six emergency exits, two doors in the front, two window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back. Each door is equipped with an evacuation sign that inflates automatically when open. Two life fronts are located in the front down, and one is located in the last overhead bin on the right. All exits are through the line with a sign over the head. If necessary, floor level light will illuminate the aisle to help you find the exit. Please take a moment now to locate your floor detectives and remember it may be behind you. If there is a change in cabin pressure, three oxygen masks will drop from overhead. Remove the mask from the plastic retainer clip and pull it firmly toward you to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic bag around your head and tighten it using the straps to both sides. Even though the bag may not inflate, oxygen will be flowing. Be sure to put your mask on first before helping others. We'll let you know when it's no longer needed. We will be passing through the cabin to make sure we are ready for departure. You can help us by making sure your seatbelt is fastened, seat bag and tray table are sewed, and all carry-on items are put away. If you have any questions about the safety features of this aircraft, please don't hesitate to ask. Smoking, including the use of electronic cigarettes, is never allowed on any JetBlue flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in aircraft restrooms is a federal offense and could result in a fine. For your convenience, this aircraft has two restrooms, one in the front of the cabin and one in the back. Each is equipped with an infant changing table. We'll be adjusting the main cabin lights for departure. If you need it, there is a reading light above your seat. We're here to make sure you have a safe and comfortable flight. Thanks for your attention. We hope you enjoy the JetBlue experience.